Hello everyone and welcome to the channel where English sentence structure are almost as bad as workout form and technique. So we are on our way to the Simply Gym. We're gonna do a arms workout. We're gonna get this nice roundy roundy bice today. And we try this to destroy this um, lovely tricep sh shoe hole, you call it? I think you, sh you call it a shoe, no, horse horseshoe. <laughs> horseshoe, no shoe. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, no hole, horse. Yeah, as I said, English, yes. So, uh, I <laughs> plan for today sorry for me being like that being so stupid but I just had a monster the whole monster that was my first monster from the probably for the last three years I did not drink any monsters because I used to drink like probably eight a day and then I decided okay I stop it it's, it's stupid to drink as much monsters so I stopped for three years and today was my first monster again and was followed by my pre-workout and in the monster you've got in monster you've got about 180 grams milligrams of caffeine and in the pre-workout you've got if i'm not wrong 150 and that's literally i provided back to back so i got around over 300 milligrams of caffeine in me now that's why it's, i might be a bit uh, yeah, a bit veiny today. Actually, I'm not sure if caffeine can give you, can pump out the blood in your veins, but let's say yes. If it is, I will be happy and veiny. Oh, my, my car is squeaking. All right, so the plan for the bicep and tricep and forearm. We're gonna do bicep, tricep and forearm or tricep, bicep and forearm. I think that's better tricep as we done last time tricep bicep bicep and forearm yeah we're gonna go old school as we've done the back last time you remember how we've done back we went old school traditional workout and that's exactly what we're gonna do today with our uh actually i might just park somewhere else because it's so sunny today it's so hot so i might just go in a shade it's too hot it's way too hot oh that's better as soon as my camera will sort the ISO I'm gonna set up a better light so it will or it won't oh, I think it won't come on come on give me better light give me better light uh, yeah so plan for today is bicep that's that's actually not good I don't like it let's change it that should be better is it Please tell me it's better. No. Are we better now? No, we're not. Because the light is in the... Oh, whatever. Whatever. The plan for today is... We're going to start with tricep. We're going to go heavy. And I definitely want to do a... Uh, tricep press downs on the machine that would be that would be sick actually um, I definitely want to do school crushers and probably a v-bar press downs on the cables that would be probably three exercises for tricep and then we're gonna hit heavy uh, easy bar curl standard one I think on bicep then we're gonna hit some dumbbells 
extended one as well. Then we're gonna do heated one for the bicep extension, and then we're gonna do forearm. So that's kind of a quick plan. I have to I have to talk quick because it's so hot. So I wanna get inside. So let's go. I'm gonna take you for the workout. All right, as a, as a first exercise, I decide to go with a cable V-bar press down. I think it's a good workout to push some blood in. It's not too heavy on your elbows as well. If we would start like with skull crushers, probably we would have to do like four warming up sets. Anyway, so I think that's just better really. Easier on your elbow, better to pump more blood in there. And actually we can go, I think the second exercise we're gonna go with uh, skull crushers and then we're gonna go to the machine press downs. That would be the best idea really. Because uh, school crush, I don't want to be extremely tired for the school crushers. I haven't done them for a long time as well. So, all right, let's go. I think about three sets now. Right, to be honest, pretty warmed up already. It's, it's not bad even if we would go, would go now for the school crushers. And let's, let's do another one or two sets, just to be sure our elbows are warmed enough. Alright, now we are definitely old enough. We are old as fuck. So today I'm gonna try a bit different way of doing a school crushers. I will try to go more for the extension. I can show you exactly what I mean, but I will try to go with the barbell like behind my head and drop it down behind my head. Don't go up to the like my forehead. It's a bit different, but I I think I might like it actually. I definitely feel it better than the standard school crusher. So we're gonna go three, three sets probably and we'll see. If we're gonna like it, then sound. If not, I norm I, generally I don't like school crushers. I don't feel it. So I'm trying to do a kind of alternative for it or my own form of doing school crushers, let's say. Yeah. <sighs> 
To be honest, I do like it and I feel it as fuck. I mean, the only difference is I feel the lower part of my tricep working really hard, which I like. Now this part. It's not bad, it's not bad. We're gonna get some heavy weight and I'm gonna smash it. Another two sets at least. So we're gonna go a single hand cable press downs, which actually I do love. I do love this exercise, so yeah, gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna go heavy anyway, even if we have to kind of bounce it off.
Yeah, let's go. Let's hit this first bicep exercise. So the main thing for the first exercise, I want to push as much blood as possible. Really. No stretches, no extensions. It's pushing blood, really. Let's go, second set, easy. To be honest, I've been so satisfied with, uh, with this easy bar curl. It's working so good. I actually feel my bicep like hell. That's why I want to do another set in here. Another shot. And then... And then... <laughs> I'm already tired. Man. Are we still gonna do at least one hammer exercise? And I mean, I think we're gonna do V-bar. Uh, cable pull, cable curl, V-bar curl on a cable. Yeah, something like that. Let's do another, let's do the last set on this one and then let's move on. Cable, V bar cable, Kel? Yeah, let's call it like that. If not, we just invented another name for this exercise. <laughs> uh, the pump is insane. The pump is insane from this easy Kel bar. Easy bar Kel. Yeah. English. All right, let's go.
the pump <laughs> the pump on my bicep today is from the other world now from the other dimensions so crazy how my bicep is pumped really oh it will be painful tomorrow that's for sure That's enough. That is definitely enough. I mean, not enough for the biceps, enough for this exercise. Okay, we're gonna smash some hammer curls to make this bicep longer. And same time, just to start alternating some forearm before we're gonna start moving the forearm really so yeah let's go Let's go, big man. The long session, even like twenties, are pretty heavy now. By this point, I oh, still have to do at least one set. At least one set. We might go with, might go with two. If if I won't die on the second one. Maybe we're gonna do three hammer curls and we're gonna leave forearm for tomorrow. That's not a bad idea. Because as always, I'm running late. 
I still got a meal to do. I mean, meal to prep, and meal to eat. So the workout done. That was actually amazing uh, arm workout. And also what I want to speak with you about is protein actually. Because um, very often I'm getting asked what is the amount of protein you eat? And um, to be honest, obviously there is this theory of one gram per uh, body pound. So if you weigh 200 uh, pounds, then there is 200 grams of protein. And I kind of understand this logic, but you have to also understand everyone is different. And for me, when I eat 200 grams of protein, I don't think like it's enough for me. And also like if I eat six meals a day, I so easily over eat protein like for me it's so easy to eat like 350 grams of protein man i've got three meals with 200 grams of chicken each which means in every chicken 100 grams of chicken is about 30 grams of protein which means like every box it's 60 grams so if i got this three meals it's 180 grams already and I'm not even counting my shakes, my breakfast, and my dinner yet. So it's kind of, for me, it's more kind of a harder to don't go over the limit with protein. Where people struggling with 200 grams of protein. Oh man, I don't know how I'm going to do it. It's easy, sim it's pretty simple. Especially like if you eat like 40 grams of protein protein on the morning on your breakfast which is 40 grams is what, like seven eggs or 40 grams it will be like okay 10 egg whites so it's a, it's kind of kind of a lot because uh, egg whites got about three grams of of protein so 10 of it will be about 30 grams so it's like 12 egg whites so it is quite a lot but if you get like whole eggs, it's, it's like eight, seven, which is pretty easy, I think, to accomplish. At least in my mind, I would say I more struggle with carbs, because carbs, you know, like if you got a meal and you got like two hundred grams of protein in there, like chicken, which is not a lot, I'm telling you again. Uh, then you put, let's say, 200 grams of pasta in there. It's kind of hard. I, I, I tell you what I eat, let's say. So, with, I'm eat, I'm regard carbs. Because protein you kind of know already, I told you. But with regard carbs, I've got like, uh, today I had 130 grams of uh, oats. Then I had in every of these boxes with 200 grams of protein, of chicken breast, I had 150 grams of uh, brown pasta. So it's already a lot. I think tomorrow, tomorrow I got a lot of uh, minced beef and rice, and I will try to put 200 grams of carbs of rice or of pasta in every meal. It's gonna be a lot. And breakfast, still I'm gonna keep 130 grams of oats. 
Now I'm, I'm to be honest, I'm focused. I was thinking, look, if you got the same problem, let me know. I was thinking, I have to track my protein to get enough protein at least. You know, because I'm not a not big. I mean, I know I should count my calories, my macros, but I really struggle with it. But I, I got this uh, app Nutri Nutri Check, I think it's called, and I put in everything in there now, and I just realized how easy it is to provide enough protein for your for let's say my body weight. So now I'm more. I'm gonna focus more on the carbs now. I wanna see how much I can how much carbs I can easy provide, like without, you know, extremely count every single gram of carbs. If I will find out how much I can provide it in each meal, then obviously I don't have to count it anymore. But I'm gonna know. Obviously my dinners are a bit um, vary because on a dinner, I got a lot of different types. For me, dinner is like um, kind of a enjoyment meal. Obviously, I got enough, a lot of protein in there. And I got carbs. Because, you know, we're going for a sleep for eight hours. So your body has to use something for repair and build. But I don't have a specific meal for a, for, how we call it, for the dinner. But I think, I think I will make a video on the nutrition, proper video on the nutrition. But I think it's pretty easy underestimate how much you eat and how much, imp how important the food is actually. And I, I'm, I'm guilty of it as well, of course. I'm not saying I'm not. I am guilty of it. So, yeah, today we have no shake. I mean, I had shake. I did have shake because I went to the gym late. So because of that, I had my shake at eight o'clock, uh, sorry, six o'clock and seven o'clock was the gym because I like to have at least one hour break before uh, my gym workout. And now we're going to have a uh, dinner. I think so far now I did have a 350 grams of protein and 350 grams of carbs or 400 grams of carbs. And I think we stopped on around 3,800 calories so far now. So I think I'm gonna keep this way for a couple weeks, maybe for another like two weeks, week, maybe two weeks, and I will see on the scale. If we're gonna start moving, that's good. If not, I think I might adapt something to go at least uh, 4,000 calories every day. And then if we won't grow again, we're gonna get at another two, 300. As, as fucking Rich Piana said, you can eat 12 meals. If that's not enough, you have to eat more. Simple as that. And I follow this rule. I agree with that, 100%. So some people can eat like four meals a day and they grow. Some people have to eat six, seven, and some have to eat 10. It is what it is, guys. And I think especially as heavier you are, the more, pr more calories you're gonna need, obviously, to grow. Yeah. So we'll see, we'll see. Okay, uh, it's time to go eat. Guys, I hope you had a great start of the week. I hope you're enjoying your time. I hope you're enjoying time at the gym. Keep pushing, keep pushing, lads. And I will see you very soon on the next video. Stay safe and stay focused.